Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 1998 C-Ray 250 Sundancer. It's powered with a 5.7 liter Merc Cruiser engine. EFI, so it is a fuel injected engine. Gauge on the dash says about 600 hours. I'll show you in a sec. Pretty clean boat for the year. Shows well. Gel coat came back to a nice shine. Right there, you see a little bit of a somebody recalked that window. I guess that's a little not as clean of a job as you'd like. But other than that, the boat shows pretty good. Some of the little areas. Boat also has a bimini top, full camper bimini top. So it uh, both biminis connect to each other. And uh, then it has a full canvas enclosure. Oop, sorry about that. Another nice feature is the uh, integrated swim platform with the fold down ladder with a walk through transom. Boat upholstery is in above average condition for the year. It looks original. I'd say the worst part is going to be on this back seat. A little bit of mold here on the top but really minimal, a little bit of cracking down here in the seam. It's still soft to the touch. Battery switch and shore power hookup are located in here. Engine compartment below us. A little bit of a pain to open that, but I did take pictures of it. But all the rest of the upholstery pretty good shape other than that corner has got a little bit of a crack still soft to the touch and no major rips or tears so aesthetically pleasing uh, boat also has hydraulic trim tabs VHF radio remote spot we have to figure out uh, if that's going to be working or not and it does actually as I just try it um, built-in depth finder, Lorraine's depth finder, just a little hockey puck one. Hour meter is 678 hours, but it just had, and I listed on the listing, manifold risers, oh not just, I think it was 2014, it's in the listing, or 2012, uh, it had manifolds and risers completed. Double check the listing because that's accurate. I wrote that once we spoke to the owner and I may be forgetting the year. So just reference the ad for the year that the manifold and risers were done and a bunch of outdrive work as of last season. Um, what else do we have here? Down in the cabin, oh, another nice feature that T-Ray has is an integrated step. So you can get through the walkthrough windshield up to the bow very easily to get throw your anchor out or just put two towels down for two, a few people to sunbathe up on the bow of the boat. Inside the cabin, carpeted interior. It's the uh, faux, I guess it's a, it's a faux leather interior. We also have the uh, table that goes there. Refrigerator, electric, uh, alcohol stove, fresh water system, microwave. Also has a battery charger. Another nice feature this boat has is a vacuum flush head. So it is actually just like an airplane toilet. It flushes electronically uh, through the fresh water system. It also the enclosed head and it has a pickup for you to suck the waste out um, and you don't have to physically empty it. A little trash can under the steps there. Carpet has a little bit of uh, wear and tear areas, so a tiny bit of staining but nothing that's really that bad for 98. Shore power right here. It also had, does not have air conditioning or heat guys. But it also has hot water um, all the time, meaning while underway, it uses the engine to fill up the hot water heater if you'd like to have it. 
Very simple, pretty clean 1998 250 Sea Ray. And a lot of the general maintenance of this vintage boat has already been completed. So that's a nice thing to, you, one major thing you don't have to worry about. Boat has been running while we uh, were doing the video. Gary's gonna get her up on plane and show you how she runs. Boat will cruise between 7, 8, 27 and 30 miles an hour. You've got uh, wide open, probably 38 to 39 miles an hour on a calmer day. Not a rocket ship, but the 5.7 fuel injected engine doesn't do terrible on fuel either compared to like a big block for instance. Sea Ray's to this day still have great lines. They're really, uh, they were ahead of their time when they were created back in 1998 and through the 2000s. Still has good looking lines and uh, she'll last somebody else. Uh, many more years to come. This was a uh, one owner boat and they finally just moved to a newer one, more of a ski boat. So they got rid of this one and now she's going to go to a new home. Give us a call, 443-324-1368, Maryland Boat Sales, mdboatsales.com. Don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page for the most up-to-date listings, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a video on every boat that we list. Sometimes not right away, depending on logistics, but we do get it done. Thanks for watching and see you out on the water.